Hey G fans, GojiFan93 here and welcome to another top list. Um, in this top list I will be talking about my top five things that Godzilla 1998 did right. Now before I do this list, keep in mind that, you know, obviously with uh, a lot of G fans hating 1998, I'm looking at the good things about the film, um, and also the next video or the next top list will be the ne the next or the top five things that 1998 did wrong. Um, so, you know, it'll be balanced out. Um, but also, I'm looking at this at a perspective of it not really being um, a, like, Godzilla. Like, this is Godzilla. I'm looking at it as. Zilla, just the monster himself, and the movie itself. So, let's get on to it. Alright, so the first thing that I thought was good, that I thought they did right, were some of the characters. Now, obviously I know a lot of people did not like the cast. Um, a lot of people didn't like the, the female character. Audrey, I think, was her name. Um, a lot of people didn't like Matthew Broderick's character, um, which is fine. But to me, I actually was all right with Matthew, Bro Ma <laughs> Matthew Broderick's character. I was fine with him. I mean, he had some annoying parts, but I feel overall that, I mean, <laughs> in in a way, I kind of want to say that I enjoyed his character a lot more than I did Ford Brody's character in the new Godzilla movie. Like, I actually cared more about his character than I did Ford. But. Um, the other character that I liked, um, that I really liked actually, was the photographer guy. Um, the really, uh, <clears throat> like, um, uh, what self-confident kind of guy, you know, he was the camera guy. He got caught between Zilla's toes. Um, I really liked that character. I think he was really funny. Um, <clears throat> and then the other character I liked was the French um, spy guy, like the agency or whatever. Like, those guys, I really, really dug those characters. I thought they were really funny. Um, so, yeah. So, number four. Four, uh, the soundtrack. I really did like the soundtrack, actually. Um, uh, I actually, when I bought the Perfect Soundtrack Collection uh, 50th Anniversary box set from the uh, from the Godzilla movies, um, Godzilla 1998 was actually a part of that, and uh, I was really surprised at that. I'm like, wow, that means Toho really does acknowledge that this movie exists because they put it in the Godzilla 50th Anniversary Perfect Soundtrack Collection. And when I listened to it, I was actually pretty, it was pretty good. Um, it was actually on par with uh, like the 2014 soundtrack. Um, it didn't have super memorable themes to it, but um, I feel like when I just listened to the music by itself, it, it was pretty good to listen to. So um, definitely I do like the soundtrack. All right, number three, I'm gonna go with the marketing campaign. Now, obviously a lot of us remember the marketing for this movie. Um, you know, oh, his foot's the size of this truck. His eye is the size of this billboard. Like, I mean, it was really, really good marketing. It got everyone psyched up, got everyone ready. You know, the green theme. Cause you know if like 2014 had like the red theme? Well, 1998 had this green theme, this neon green style of, and um, you know, the trailers are really good. Um, and you know, because they barely showed Godzilla, well, they barely showed Zilla. Um, and uh, you know, I just liked how they kind of kept it mysterious. Um, and uh, you know, all the Happy Meal toys, well actually it wasn't, it was uh, Taco Bell, I think was the retailer that was selling all like the kids uh, food stuff and I remember like the little, uh, do you guys remember in Taco Bell the little Chihuahua guy who was like Taquito Taco Bell or whatever, <laughs> something like that. Um, he, uh, you know, I remember getting some Happy Meal uh, toys from Taco Bell, I think I actually might still have um, one from them but, uh, but yeah the marketing I'd say was actually something that they really did right. Alright, the second thing I would say, um, some people might disagree with me on this and I totally understand if you do, um, but I believe that the special effects for the time being, remember guys, this was 1998, this is a little bit after Jurassic Park, so CGI was starting to become a little bit more of a thing, and um, obviously this, you know, Zilla was all in CGI, but I feel like there were some parts in the movie that looked really good, especially if you watch it on Blu-ray. Um, there were some scenes that were exceptionally good, um, especially when Zilla first goes into New York and starts tearing shit up, you know, and uh, all the cars flying everywhere, the big semi that, that he grabs in his mouth and starts shaking, the guy falls from it, you know. The special effects, I feel, in some parts were really good. Now, obviously, there were some parts that didn't look really good, but I feel for the most part, for the time, 1998, that the film looked good and especially for it looking uh oh, that's my phone um and, and especially 
um, you know, having an all CGI monster, I feel like um, for the time it did well. So, all right, and number one, the thing that I feel they did right was Zilla, the monster. Now, keep in mind, this is not Godzilla. I'm not saying this is Godzilla. I'm talking about Zilla, the monster Zilla. Not this guy. Hmm? Not this guy. Zilla. Um, I feel like this monster was awesome. Um, when I watch this film, I never watch it like I'm watching Godzilla. I'm watching it like I'm watching this monster, Zilla. And um, I feel like he was such a cool monster. The way he was so quick, he maneuvered around buildings. Um, and yeah, he technically ran away from the military. But keep in mind, you know, he was outsmarting the military. Those heli the helicopter parts where they were chasing him. And then he went like around some building really quickly. And then they miss him. And they're like, where'd he go? And then Zilla just breaks through the building behind them and just smashes them. I mean, and the fact that he's smart. He gets smarter in the movie. Like, he goes for the fish. Uh, that's a lot of fish. See, I got it out there, so bleh. Um <laughs> He goes for the fish, and you know, obviously the military starts shooting at him. But then the second time the humans try to do the fish uh, strategy again, Zilla looks at them and he's like, Hmm, nah, I'm not going to go for that. And he, and he goes away, and they're like, ah, oh, shit, he, you know, he knows. So I really like the way that they did Zilla. Also, the design of Zilla is really cool looking. Um, you know, definitely, uh, I feel like Zilla is more of a modern representation of creature from 20, or beast from 20,000 fathoms than he is Godzilla. Um, and if you look at it from that way, if it's beast from 20,000 fathoms, I feel like that's a way better representation. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, I, yeah, so, and Zilla's really cool, I mean, and also the roar, yes, the roar was Godzilla's roar, and I liked the roar, I was fine with his roar, I thought it was, I mean, it was cool, I mean, hell, even in the American version of Godzilla 2000, they kind of used that roar and kind of manipulated it to sound a little bit more traditional, so, I mean, I, I don't know, I thought the roar was pretty good, so, uh, yeah, Zilla, definitely my number one favorite for, or my number one pick for what they did right. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching um, this top 10 list, or it's top 5 list actually, um, but soon it will be uh, finished around with another top 5 of what 1998 did wrong. And this is where all the 1998 haters can come and we can all discuss and rip this movie to shreds like all of us G fans love to do. Even though this movie's like, what, 16 years old now? <laughs> so, but uh, anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. Post in the comments what you guys liked from this movie. Um, you know, like I said, I like this movie as just another monster movie. As a Godzilla film, it fails on all parts, and like I said, we'll talk about that in the next top five video. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay big, G fans.